Moi! Kuka sinä olet? Aha. Minä olen daddy. Olen sinun isä. Who am I kidding? He's gonna learn Finnish before I do. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to week two of the Race to the Finish challenge. Sometimes I wonder actually if I'm like competing with myself to learn Finnish or this guy. It's getting rough already with this kind of competition. He's pulling my hair, all sorts. A lot of you guys in the comments to the last video <laughs> told me that I should be watching kids TV shows like The Moomins. So we're just gonna have a little look at, the, at this uh, episode of The Moomins. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I'm gonna catch you guys up on what I've been doing this week and what I've been learning. Uh, the trials and tribulations, and uh, yeah, we've also got a couple of things to do today, so yeah, we better get cracking. But yeah, this week in terms of studying has been very, very good. Um, I've kept up with my one hour goal every day. In fact, I've gone over it by one hour over this week, which is nice. I've still got today to go, so once I've done my hour for today, it will be like 16 hours over 14 days, so I'm up by two hours. <laughs> And I'm actually coming towards the end of the second course on Word Dive. That's what I used mostly last week too. I've just got one more module to go, but I'm, I'm feeling like I'm in a bit of a rut with this. Don't get me wrong, I still think Word Dive is the best Finnish learning app there is, that I've found at least. But I think next week I need to start exploring other avenues, do some other things. But the course I'm gonna do today is out and about. I haven't done much of this. Demonstrative pronouns. These pronouns are used when you're pointing to something. This could be useful. Demonstrative pronouns have both singular and plural forms. Let's first get to know the sing singular forms. Tama, tuo, and se. And actually, se is something I already know, and I've got a little bit of a story from this week about that. But that's coming later. Open. Now, open has two words i think yeah so there's auki which is like i think when a shop is open and then there is avata is it two t's avata avata damn it avata avata one t so what i do when the answers come up at the bottom of the screen i cover them with my thumb like this and then i try and guess the or not guess, but like try and figure out what the words would be. So this would be yes. So maybe like yo or kyllä, uh, tervetuloa, kyllä, tervetuloa. This is my cottage. Tama on minun mökki, mökkini. Okay, kyllä, tervetuloa. Ah, yeah, so it's nama or tama? Tama, I think. Tama on minun mökkini. Seriously, the amount of like case endings and, and stuff like that. But you know, I'm trying not to get overwhelmed, but seriously, there are some endings which are like, use this ending when the, the thing is far away, but only on the second Friday of every second month like come on <laughs> how many damn rules are there all right that's a, that's enough for now i think and uh i'm definitely next week going to maybe stay away from the the apps and stuff and really like start writing down things that i know i'm going to use in everyday life and speaking of which... So right now I am heading to Verkokalpa and I think this could be a pretty good opportunity for my first challenge. So I have pre-ordered uh, the inner tube that I need for my bike uh, and I'm going to try and collect my order without using any English. But you know, this could go one of two ways. Uh, either the sales assistant will be, uh, you know, your typical Finn and not want to have any unnecessary small talk and just scan my, my item and send me on my way. Uh, so that's one option. Or, you know, they could want a little bit of a chat, in which case it could be pretty one-sided. I don't know. Let's see. I do this separately. 
Okay, so I failed. The hell? Oh, just one fail after the next today. So yeah, I, I failed. And uh, that, that is kind of the point of this <laughs> of this little video diary to, to not only record my successes, which they have been few so far, but also to document like when when I chicken out and you know the struggles as well because that that's what this is all about. So yeah basically I needed to get something else and then I needed to pay separately to go on my my, my business account, one of these microphone things. And that is why I chickened out. Now I'm gonna have an orange. But as it turned out the lady that was helping me she spoke incredible English. <laughs> Which kind of leads me on to a question that I get asked every time I say usually to a Finn that I'm trying to learn learn Finnish. And that is why. Why bother learning Finnish? But really it comes down to a few things. Firstly, I think whenever you move to a foreign country, you should at least make an effort to try and learn the language. It just so happened that I ended up moving to a country where they have an incredibly difficult language to learn. Secondly, the, the language fascinates me. Its complexity is really interesting and I would love to be able to say that I can speak one of the hardest languages in the world. And thirdly, it's kind of fun. It's, it's really fun to challenge myself to something that is genuinely going to be useful for me. As I've mentioned already, I have a baby that's growing up in Finland who will end up speaking Finnish probably before me, but hey. <laughs> but man, I feel a bit defeated. That kind of sucks. And I was, I was kind of thinking like on my way to the counter, like how would I ask to pay for these separately? And I just haven't covered that yet. <laughs> what I'm learning is that I really need to be patient with myself. When I learned the Swedish that I know, it was over a period of time for a start, but also it is so much easier to learn Swedish than it is to learn Finnish. And I've just got to give myself time. I, that, that's, give myself a break. But we got to study today. First things first, I got to change this. So the fails continue today. I just put the, the wheel back on and I realized that the, the tires are the wrong way around. The, the tread is going this way on this one and that way on that one. In my defense, I haven't changed uh, a tire in a tube for, well, ever. <laughs> So I thought I'd just come out for a little bike ride just to make sure that the wheel that I fixed is working. But what I didn't expect was it to be such a such a nice evening. Not totally sure this is the right season to be utilizing these, but hey ho, whatever. Now I don't want this video just to be full of like negative things like the 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 bike braking, the the failure at the shop. You guys know me better than that. This is a positive channel. We just want positivity here. So just to lighten things up a bit, I'm gonna tell you a little story about something that happened to me this week. It's story time. So I was in the supermarket the other day and I needed some ingredients for taco night. Specifically, I needed some vegetables, I needed peppers, I needed avocado, I needed onion. And so I was going for some avocado and uh, I saw a gentleman packing tons and tons of avocado into a plastic bag ready to be weighed. So I patiently waited my turn to, to grab my, my couple of avocados and uh, when I did, I, I was then behind this same gentleman uh, at the weighing scale. You know, the one where you put your, your bag of uh, vegetables on and you press the button and you get how much it is and you stick it on. But alas, this gentleman seemed to have trouble figuring out how this machine worked. He was of maybe the older generation, so it kind of gave him a pass on that. But uh, he, he figured out where the button was, so he needed, uh, let's say, number 63. He pressed number 63. And uh, then after that, everything kind of fell apart for him. <laughs> <laughs> the machine was doing exactly what it should and printed out a ticket, but this guy could not find it. <laughs> he was reaching around the back of the machine on the side. He was like looking every which way. And this is where Super Dave came in. I thought this could be my opportunity to speak a little Finnish in the real world. Everything kind of went into slow motion as my brain whizzed around trying to figure out what it is that I should say to this guy to tell him 
your sticker is there. So what felt like about half an hour was probably only about two or three seconds in real time while I figured out why it is I should say to this guy. Uh, but in the end, my brain and I decided that I should say, sell on pass and then point physically to where this, this sticker is. And bear in mind at this point in time, I didn't know if that was correct. Uh, I later asked Kat if that was even close and she was like, yeah, you could say that. But anyway, I said it. I said to this guy, se on tassa. And then he saw it thanks to me and he grabbed the sticker, put it on his bag and uh, he, he kind of started going on his way and then he turned around to me and do you know what he said? Thank you. Mother f Of course, I decided to try and speak Finnish to the only guy in the whole supermarket that was not a Finnish speaker. <laughs> uh, but like I say, after, afterwards, I, I felt kind of good about myself and I went back and uh, I asked Kat if actually what I said would have been correct uh, if I was speaking to a Finnish speaker. Uh, and she said, yeah, pretty much. There's probably a couple of ways I could have said it, but it would do. So I'll take that, I'll take it'll do. <laughs> so next week I am not gonna use word dive as much. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more like independent study, if that makes sense. Maybe dip my pinky toe in the ocean that is Finnish grammar. And I feel like I need to do that because the grammar is the scariest part, for me at least. Um, there's probably a lot of people out there just saying, don't worry about grammar, just learn vocabulary, learn words, and the grammar will come. But I think that's where I'm hitting like a mental roadblock, the grammar. It's the scariest part of Finnish, I think. So yeah, next week perhaps I will focus on that, just see if I can get that. And of course I will bring you guys along on that winding journey. <laughs> now I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I do want to start getting into the challenges that you guys are setting me. Uh, in the comment section of these videos. There's some really good ones and uh, they should be fun when I when I have the confidence to, to to try and, you know, achieve them. But I would just like to say a quick thank you to everyone that left comments on episode one. Uh, it, it's really nice to know that I've got a, a full on support system uh, behind the other side of this camera uh, rooting for me. Uh, to learn this this language. So so thank you very much everybody that comments and you know subscribes to the videos and likes the videos. It really does give me a little bit of a boost when I when I see that. So thank you so much. But yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next week. See ya.